did you not see this coming? My god, we came this close. The old man could have buried us all. Our families. Do you think you feel more betrayed than I do? Get some perspective, please. Janus is dead. Lucas Gray is about to join him. And a cornered animal is twice as dangerous. Let's be perfectly clear. We were not exposed. The threat is neutralized. We are back on track. Even so, from this point on, we expect you to take- No, there is no way I'm doing that. How can you question my loyalty? In case treachery is contagious. Do you really want to do this to me? Is there a problem, Secretary? No problem whatsoever, madam. Here's to loyalty. My man on the island confirms that the Constant has arrived. We head out at sundown. Here, in case the crew get ideas. Why are you doing this, Mr. Gray? You had a chance to walk away. Why didn't you? A year ago, I'm working security for this banker, Cobb. Only to find out he's a Providence operative. I've been running for decades, only to wind up where I started. We've all got barcodes on the back of our heads. Most people just never notice. 47 told me about your parents. How did they die? Car bomb. Sorry, 1989. Company named Blue Seed didn't care to pay for their mistakes. But I like to think no one's untouchable. I'm... I'm sorry for your loss. You feel it, don't you? Unlike him, you feel it all. Everything you've done. It's a dangerous thing, having a conscience. Attention, gentlemen. Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe, in case he's compromised. Damn it. Oh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters Zoe and Sophia Washington. Two young, ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right. Change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the chip before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the archive. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank, one of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have it coming.
The Isle of Scale. Headquarters of the Ark Society. Founded by Janus in 1991, the Ark Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives and breakthroughs. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it. to explore the castle grounds. However, certain areas are off limits, including the keep, which houses the members area, convention space, and council meeting. Should you wish to apply for ARC membership, please be aware that such cannot be bought, only earned. All set? Excellent. Follow me, please. Enjoy your evening. The bar is right up ahead. Looking sharp, sir. Start. Wait, is that? It sure is. He never plays corporate events. Come on, rest. I told you Looking guys. Fine Let's today. get this spending spree started. Four bedroom suite with the oaken. Hi there. 
Send me back a cool 99 million. But hey, it's probably tax deductible, right? How about you? <sighs> My ex-husband scored the old three-bedroom suite that I purchased back in 08 when the plans for the Arctic shelter were first announced. Part of the settlement. So now I'm considering one of the core suites. Ooh, oh, 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 big spender. I thought those were long sold out. Well, this one belonged to Thomas Cross. One man's loss, as they say. How much? If you don't mind me asking. Can you keep a secret? Six congressional hearings say I can. What? Holy Christ. Yeah, just don't tell Clarence. If he finds out how much money I stashed away in Switzerland, I'll lose the other estate too. Here is a lot of green for an underground bunker beneath a glacier to pass into no limits. Especially one you'll likely never use. Still, what money compared to your kid's safety? What indeed? Sir, this door is for initiates only. I'm sure you understand. Yes, sir. Now that everybody's here, we're ready to proceed. Please make your way to the upper courtyard. The ceremony. to begin. Thank you. The trick is to make it sound simple. I wonder how easy it would be to implement that approach with my startup. Evening. 
tokens around like a sucker. I don't know. Looks kind of fun. Like Final Club all over again. How does it work? The tokens are hidden throughout the castle, you know, like out of reach places like the ramparts. And the first initiate to collect enough tokens undergoes the polygraph test with the chairwoman. If you're deemed worthy, you get promoted to ARC member. Hmm. I could do that. So, every year, aspiring ARC patrons compete in a treasure hunt to obtain membership status. The first initiate to collect enough tokens undergoes a private screening with Zoe Washington, which appears to involve a polygraph and electroshock device. Hmm. I suggest you join the fray, 47. A private audience with one of our targets is just what we need. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Sure. Depends on your pain threshold, I guess. You see, Zoe Washington up the stakes this year. Word is, she's brought an ECT device to the interview. Wait, electroshock? But that's torture. Some would call it therapeutic. Wow, I knew the twins were hardcore, but this takes the cake. Count me out. Already had. Sir? Seek the keepers of the gate. In the courtyard they await. What else could it mean? No such luck. But some of the Ark members might. I heard a couple of them whispering. They're definitely up to something. Yes, evening, sir. in the middle of something. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. You see, I am one of the tokens. What? What difference does it make? The token is yours if you want it, but on one condition. Are you serious? Name it. Okay, here's the deal. I want a seat on the Titan ship, but I don't want to become an ARC member in order to get it. Too much hassle and responsibility. Wait. Buy a seat in my place. Yeah. I'm... No. Sorry, Mark. But I can't. If they figure it out, we'll both get expelled. They won't find out. Don't be a chicken paw. No. No deal. You know, stop bothering me. Behind as it is. So, I hear you have one of the tokens. Can I, uh, see it? Just a quick peek. Yeah. So I'm sure I know what it looks like. Right. Close, Initiate, but no cigar. Good evening, sir. You look like a winner to you? Paul's basically a decent guy. He's got honor. Don't 
Looking very good, sir. But due to increased security, I can't let you through. Bummer, I know. Yeah, now get out of here, you idiot! I, uh, I saw some suspicious activity over there. A guy taking pictures wearing a, a journalist hat. Yeah, better, better check it out. Oh, no, you don't, Initia. Not on my watch. Come this way, sir. Sorry for the inconvenience. What's with that weird bird effigy? The annual phoenix ceremony. It symbolizes the collapse of civilization from which the Ark Society emerges unscathed and triumphant. Ah, rebirth. Interesting. Zoe Washington is going to partake in a ceremony symbolizing the downfall of civilization from which the Ark Society will emerge unscathed. Apparently, a giant phoenix-shaped effigy is set on fire with Zoe inside it. Well, I suggest you locate this master of ceremonies who lights the Fire 47. If this doesn't sound like an accident waiting to happen, I don't know what does. I get it. What's new? Is that the master of ceremonies will light the effigy on fire with Zoe Washington inside? Huh. A bit showy, do you think?
Might have a situation comparing the whole. Ah, cool.
as a safety advisor, I would like to file a complaint about the locking mechanism for the trap door on the Phoenix effigy. Yeah, this thing is basically a death trap in my opinion. Call me back when you get That is Zoe Washington, chairwoman of the Ark Society, professional treasure hunter, and Providence operative. Quite a mouthful. We were just discussing your stage stunt. Seems rather pagan, if you ask me. The Ark Society is not going mystical, I trust. Just adding a bit of oomph, your highness. Humans like rituals. It's just how our brains are wired. Besides, we want the Phoenix ceremony to inspire awe wonder and excitement. But after all, these are exciting times. The potential collapse of civilization is exciting to you? It depends on how you deal with it. Walls and windmills, your highness. I don't like her. Thank you. 
Seriously, I'll, I'll pay you. Me? You're in the master of ceremony. I'm a multiple Tony award-winning playwright. And famously reclusive. It's part of my brand. I never go in the spot like this. Besides, I do chamber plays. Not spectacle. They won't hate it, Mr. Feniger. It's just entertainment. Entertainment? Oh, Lord, what have I done? I God, no. No, she frightens me. What are you trying to hide from, mister? Bats? God, no! No, she frightens me. Just, uh... Just, just give me a moment to control my nerves. All right, Mr. Henniger. Regular. Back. I'll check it out. Crap. Oh, oh, shoot. Don't move. I'll be back with something to help. Just stop. See? 
Johnson play. And yet, a drop in the ocean. Zoe Washington, the Ark Society recognizes you as our founder's rightful successor, our inspiration, our guiding light, the custodian of our future. Excellent work, 47. Enjoy the spotlight. Patrons of the Ark Society, you are part of a select chosen few. Our founder, Janus, showed us how to survive. But survival is not enough. We must live and we must soar. The Ark Society must not only commit itself to survival, but to progress. Be it our next home in the stars or the next step in human evolution. This is the eternal purpose of the elite. Not just to lead, but to lead from the front. When the time comes and all comes tumbling down, when mankind retreats once more into caves of superstition, we will keep the fire alight. We will be the torchbearers, the trailblazers and pioneers. Do, do not feel guilty for your privilege. Be proud, be fearless, for the future is ours to shape. Oh, hello, sir. Excuse me. As the world burns, we rise from its ashes, not just to survive, but to live.
Zoe Washington. The Ark Society recognizes you as our founder's rightful successor, our inspiration, our guiding light, the custodian of our future. Excellent work, 47. Enjoy the spotlight. Patrons of the Ark Society, Hello, sir. you are part of a select chosen few. Our founder, Janus, showed us how to survive. But survival is not enough. We must live and we must soar. The Ark Society must not only commit itself to survival, but to progress, be it our next home in the stars or the next step in human evolution. This is the eternal purpose of the elite. Not just to lead, but to lead from the front. When the time comes, and all comes tumbling down, when mankind retreats once more into caves of superstition, we will keep the fire alight. We will be the torchbearers, the trailblazers and pioneers. Do, do not feel guilty for your privilege. Be proud, be fearless, for the future is ours to shape. Zuma himself. It was lost for over 500 years until Blake Nathaniel unsealed the serpent's tomb. Extraordinary. It's a flipping necklace. Anyway, the Washington's wings found him first. The way I hear it, Sophia literally has the necklace in her hand when Nathaniel propels from the ceiling, triggers this ancient death trap, and, you know, murder and mayhem ensues. But I thought those two were lovers. Currently wave, which oh, explains the end security. I don't follow. Find a need for an alarm system where all will be rich. Except I see. Blake thinks Sophia might try and steal back the necklace before it's sealed in the Ark of the Legacy. Good grief. Hey, 
I got a space bubble. Don't mind me, sir. Her tooth and nail. Huh. Wouldn't happen to be Jebediah Block, the coal baron, would it? Yeah. How do you know? Well, I happen to know he's on the council. He's one of the original five, you know, the first people to fund the Ark Society back in 91. Plus, I just walked in on Sophia Washington screaming Block's name while beating up a pillow cushion. Oh. <laughs> She was properly pissed. Jeez, must mean a lot to her. What's it about? What am I, paparazzi? I just work for these assholes. Same as you. Well, keep me posted, in case teeth start flying. Can do. You're Blake Nathaniel, right? But if you don't mind me asking, people have been searching for the cloud stuff for centuries. Wherever did you find it? Well, to cut a long story short, it began with a Portuguese galleon salvaged off the coast of Costa Rica. One of the long dead sailors had a tattoo etched into the back of his neck. He spoke of a map invented Hidden inside the royal temple of Montezuma. Good evening. Hey, you! Where do you think you're going? Oh, definitely not through here. Get out of my face. Go. Jesus, as if I didn't have better things to do with my time.
Where the hell is the caretaker? He should be doing this. That is Sophia Washington, chairwoman of the Ark Society, professional treasure hunter, and Providence operative. Quite the resume. Constant, Providence's top controller. Everything depends on capturing him alive. This way, please move on. Thank you. Something called a kill switch. Well, whatever it is, Mr. Block did not want to be part of it. But there's an order. I know. Poor bastard. Well, that's what you get for inventing kill switches, I suppose. It will be like a space colony. Everyone equal and dependent on each other. It will be egalitarian, sir. It will be, well, communist. That's what I paid almost two billion for? Why didn't anyone tell me sooner? Merely food for thought, Mr. Block. Good night. I... I need to, uh... Think. Seven, that was our only lead on the partners. Abort mission.
Very good. What? Okay. Shit. That was premature, 47. Quick, get him out of sight, then finish the mission. The clock is ticking. No! Forty... That was premature, 47. Quick, get him out of sight, then finish the mission. The clock is ticking. Well, at least the damage is contained. For now. Or you crawl out of the burning cockpit only to discover that we're trampling around in a wolf's den. Right between the pack and five mewling cubs. God, tell them how you got away. The old lighter and spray deodorant trick. But not without a few nasty bite marks, though. What can I say? Thank God for rabies shots. Now, if you'll excuse me. Extraordinary. Miss Washington. How was the test group's response to the DNA Vault initiative? Actually, not quite as well as the team had anticipated, Madam Chairwoman. How so? Preserving DNA doesn't... Emotionally, it seems impersonal, abstract even. Simply put, your genes are not human. Okay, not now. We scrap the program? Not necessarily. You see, once we throw cloning and ectogenesis into the mix, interest increases tenfold. Sorry, I just need to do a quick search. External womb, Madam Chairwoman. Imagine, mankind is wiped out by some calamity. But no sweat. Deep underground, an AI dinosaur.
Sophia Washington is trying to persuade Janus's original five to embrace the Green Revolution. Bad. Hmm. Alarm sensors. You'll need to disable the system to get at the necklace, 47. I saw this guy going into... Arm sensors. You'll need to disable the system to get at the necklace, 47. How are you today, sir? I'm really sorry, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to let you pass. Orders, you know. Asshole. You'll never come through here as long as I'm alive. Now get the fuck out of my face. As I said, I'm really sorry.
Sir, if you want to pass through, I need to check that you're not carrying anything dangerous. down if you're coming this way, sir. Let me just pad you down here. Thank you for your cooperation. Please continue. Thank you, miss. The original architect up and vanished. Hey there. Listen here, pal. I'm sorry, but you are not getting through. But what? But 
provided that the others agree. The chair will adopt the current rule of law now for Miss Washington, after due consideration, I have revised my position. I would like to support your motion. Well, well, look at you, Block. Finding your good sense and manners. Come along, then. I'll call a vote at once. I knew you'd come around. You're stubborn, Block, but you're not a schmuck. You know I'm right. The analysts of my father's think tank have been grinding the data for months, and they are rarely wrong. The Karuna Agreement, climate litigation. We estimate that fossil fuel companies like yours have a decade, hope you're well, before you're all resigned to the junkyard of history. And what kind of secret society would we be if we didn't keep each other in power? But indeed. I knew we could talk sense. Just vote in favor of my motion, and I promise you, Block. You'll power the world for decades to come. Well, who cares how, as long as you're the one getting paid. Ain't that the truth?
Friends and founders, the recess is over. Let's return to the council room and proceed with the vote. Sir. Well, you've certainly placed yourself at the crossroads of history. Nicely done, 47. Let's reiterate. For decades, you, the titans of the energy industry, have conspired to obscure the truth about climate change through lobbying, misinformation, and propaganda. This strategy has been incredibly successful. But all good things must come to an end. It is time for you to adapt or die, ladies and gentlemen. This is why our analysts have devised a 10-year transition plan to keep you in power. Play this right, and you will not only thrive, but this time, you will be the good guys. In other words, you have nothing to lose. So, everyone in favor, say I. 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 Yay or nay, Block? Silence is consent. I. Five eyes. The vote is unanimous. The motion is passed. And now? I believe a toast is in order to the future. Signed, sealed, and delivered. To the, the future. future. The future. The future. Hmm. Wonder if the castle's basement could house a permanent R&D facility. Worth considering. Both targets down. Impressive work. Misinformation and propaganda. This strategy has been incredibly successful. But all good things must come to an end. It is time for you to adapt or die. This is why our analysts have devised a 10-year transition plan to keep you in power. Play this right, and you will not only thrive, but this time, you will be the good guys. In other words, you have nothing to lose. So, everyone in favor, say I. 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 Yay or nay, Block. Silence is consent. I. Five eyes. The vote is unanimous. The motion is passed. And now? I believe a toast is in order to the future. Signed, sealed, and delivered. To, to the, the future. future. The, the future. future. The future. Thinking with this decor, so driven heavy. I, mean, I know he was Russian, but still, for an organization that looks to the future. Huh? 
Both targets down. Impressive work, Morrison. And now, to confront the Constant. Mr. Gray, what's your status? I'm at the helicopter, but the place is crawling with security. 47, you better bring the Constant to the harbor where it's less crowded. You can hijack one of the Archean boats. Question is how? He's not likely to come quietly. Unless you get your hands on a kill switch. Yes, that might just work. Search one of the twins, 47. The Washingtons are dead. I have the kill switch. What did you say? How could you know about that? You will head towards the harbor. No sudden moves. No signs or warnings. I will trigger the device if I need to. I know you. The boy in the picture. You have his eyes. You're Bonewood's assassin. Move. Something didn't sit right with my mentor's betrayal. You murdered him, I take it, to get to me. Not just that. He had it coming. Interesting. It was my impression that you were cured of such sentiment. The good doctor built his serum specifically to target the seats of your emotions. Has Miss Burnwood's sense of justice rubbed off on you? Just keep walking. Sure. Our parents were afraid of the missiles. But I think we both know that if it happens, there'll be some other element at play. Something even new. For what it's worth, Janus always found Ortmeier's project distasteful, not to mention inefficient. But alas, sometimes you have to play the hand you're dealt. Oh, I know. My courier says have a lot easier now that Delgado is gone. They no longer have to pay off his thugs when they pass through the Columbia Amazon. Some of the pieces are invaluable, and it was wrong for him. Take it, this is not an ICA-sanctioned operation. What exactly does Miss Burnwood plan to achieve by targeting her clients? Violating her own code? She's doing it. For us. Us? Oh, I see. The penny drops. I should have known. How does a man leave no trace? By not existing in the first place. Lucas Gray, or was it Subject 6? He died when the Institute went up in flames, but no body was ever produced. And unlike you, his rage never faded. So, now you are your partners. The men behind the curtain who caused you all this pain? Well, before you go knocking down a wall, you better make sure it's not load-bearing. Yes, hello, sir.
follow that. Mr. Edwards, still think this is maintenance. Oh, Miss Burnwood, what have you done? Changing horses midstream? Truly unprofessional. You know what we want. Where is the carrot? No carrot. You're useless to the partners. Compromised. Even if we let you live, you can never return. Why die protecting them? When I can drag them down with me. It's a bad hand, but it's all you've got. Three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlisles, the Stuyvesants. Three dynasties secretly pooling their resources over generations, creating a singularity so dense that nothing escapes its gravity. Never heard of them. Well, they've heard of you. In fact, you just became the top of their agenda. Go. We can't give them time to retaliate. Don't take your eyes off him. Be careful. Well, here we are again. I must admit I am disappointed, Miss Burnwood. I had such big plans for you. Save it. I know the truth now. You're outplayed. You have nothing left to bargain with. <laughs> you are so certain. So sure of the people closest to you. He never fails, does he? He never misses his mark. You found a window into his past. And yet, something else remains hidden. A simple truth you learned long ago. Diana! Coming! No one. Miss Burnwood is untouchable. 